Good evening. I'm David Vien, and this is Chip Speech. Good evening, and welcome to Chip Speech. This is Bert Gotrax. It's a mix between Qbert, Voltrax, and Gorf. That's Qberties. Um, of course, real Qberties is uh, messes with the inflection in a certain time the way, but you get the idea. This is the infamous uh, Daisy Bell model. Uh, it's actually processed from original recordings made in '63. Uh, and because of that, we're able to do this. False note there, just to prove it's not a sample. If you want to play a real song, I mean, you can, but, you know, let's do something more original with that. A D clat is an homage to uh, Dennis Clat, his al algorithm, which is implemented in that. And this algorithm has been the basis for lots of other speech synthesizers, uh, including Deck Talk, the most easy to understand one. And it has a huge range. But all of them do. I'm just going to put a bigger pitch band range because two semitones is just not enough for me. I like 12 or 24. And the other cool thing about that character there's helium, which is changing the sample rate without the bass pitch. And how's Kit? A woman? A man? And an elderly man. That's kind of modeled on Deck Talk's Harry. There's countless parameters in there, and you'll probably get bored, I guess. If you are interested in it, then you should buy it. <laughs> Lady Parsec. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Is very influenced by the TI-99 4A uh, space shooter called Parsec, of course. And in there, you had a, a woman's voice that told you, like, get some fuel and danger, laser, and ships attacking, and that sort of stuff. It's a real model of a TMS uh, 5200 underneath it. One thing I didn't mention is that you can play mono or poly. So as long as you hold uh, the pass note a bit there yeah that's the thing i mean typical synthesizers you can clip <laughs> um i'm gonna go back to non poly mode and change again and now we have Otto Moser. the reason why i made this uh this is the voice that really um excited me when i was young and i learned later that it was the same voice that was in uh the stacker humanoid demo from the Commodore 64. That's actually the first time I heard it. It's a video called Acid Demo on a Commodore 64. You could check it on YouTube. And it had this voice. And from the record, I didn't have the record at the time. I didn't go to the clubs. I was too young. And it had this humanoid thing that it said. It was just the most awesome, brutal thing ever. Uh, what does it sound like? 
Really fat, really synth-like. Spencer, <laughs> this is the SBO256, which was sold by Archer slash Radio Shacks. And this is the thing that lots of you remember. So the original couldn't do that at all. Uh, the only way to have it change its pitch was to change the sample rate. And if you do that, let me do it for you because you can do it if you want to. It's basically, you have a pitch band range here and a helium slash sample rate, emulated sample rate range. And if you want to have the vintage effect of dropping in pitch with the whole thing dropping at the same time, including formats, you'd go. <laughs> So you got the vintage effect there, but you might not want that all the time. So you'd say, for instance, you just want to mess with uh, an emulated sample rate that's different. <laughs> so you see that the format changes, but the pitch doesn't. And you could do the other thing around, which is... No change in sample rate and just in pitch. There's so much things you can tweak. Uh, again, listen to the demo albums. You'll have lots of things there. Terminal 99, uh, this, is a, this is a very awesome thing. At last minute, I was able to reach an agreement with Texas Instruments. We had this model in the early betas, but I, got, I had to remove it because it wasn't clear at the last minute they give us the rights to distribute some of their cartridges and one of them is something called terminal emulator which uh, if you have a ti-99 it, it's actually a terminal software an rs-232 uh, slash modem and you could actually use it to have someone else on the other side of the network talk to you through the speech synthesizer the same technique behind lady parsec but a different set of uh, vocals <laughs> If you listen to Go To 80s um, <laughs> crazy track called I Like Crossword Puzzle, this is the one that's used and it really made me laugh. We also have circuit bending modes for three of the chips, the digital models. For the SP bending, uh, of course you have the typical <laughs> So basically, I scan through the data uh, faster and slower depending on the wave rate here. Attention, please. Attention, please. Attention, please. Attention, please. Attention, please. Attention, please. To have your attention. So you kind of understand it. it's pitched all around the keyboard. If I use this, what happens is that the same thing is going to play on the entire keyboard. But what it is, it's the original pitch of everything, including inflection of the original data. Attention, please. You kind of hear there. But what cool thing Attention, there. Attention, please. You can change the wave rate. Attention, please. And of course. Attention, please. You can do lots of cool stuff. What do we have here? We have Mr. Otto, so Moser data as well. <laughs> This is the French chess, I like it. Uh, but what people remember... What do we have here? Stacker humanoid actually cut the front of the S, the H. So you double it that way. You can play humanoid for hours if you want to. 
And so I've got all these things, uh, different languages, uh, German. No, 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 no. Can play all the words. And you play chords with this, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and what people requested, and of course the first, as soon as I could do that, I actually did it, is Texas Instruments slash typical speak and spell bands. Um, let's try something here. Head, 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 home, home, instruction, in Oh, well, that's going to be cool. So if you play with the loop start, actually, it screws up the framing for the LPC data. And, is, and um, uh, typically happens when people uh, circuit bend these things is this. <laughs> the way it sounds like this, it's not a trick. It's actually emulating the exact way the data propagates itself and gets framed wrongly inside the filter and the pitch and everything. <laughs> You can get really nice loops this way. That's nice. Change the impulse a bit. So this is the impulse that was in the speak and spell. And for final effect, you take chip crusher here and you pass all of that through. What do you think? A speak and spell impulse. Caution, asteroid, caution, asteroid belt, caution, asteroid belt. Press fire to begin, press fire to begin. We have parser. Parsec, Moonline, and Alpiner, which were games that TI released, and they all use the same voice, uh, the same lady voice. And the lady that we mentioned is, her name is Aubrey Anderson. So Aubrey, if you read this, uh, thank you for your voice. And uh, magnificent uh, character design from Pixoshiru. Uh, it wouldn't be the same without it. Uh, please, someone make a better video. I suck, I'm a programmer, and I'm tired, but I really wanted you guys to see a bit what this was before investing money in it. Uh, we sadly won't have a demo ready for shipping, um, but the advantage is you get it cheaper. So thank you. Good night.